Okay, so I'm working on this 2008 Nissan Xterra. This is just a rear wheel drive, doesn't have the four wheel drive. And we've got a screeching, scraping noise coming from the front. Um, I have not even driven this yet, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Just some information that I know is that the uh, front brakes and the rotors have been replaced, so those are all new and apparently it was making some noise the brakes were replaced and the problem even got worse so we're gonna uh, probably just gonna go drive it and uh, see if we can figure out what's going on here okay so so far here moving it around the yard have not heard any noise whatsoever so we'll get it out here on the road okay so I don't know if, if you can hear this noise it's pretty loud and it, it does sound like it's coming from the front however noises can trick you from time to time but you can hear that obviously and it's just constant it's not going away now as we're picking up speed it gets like way more faint now I'm barely hearing it now so, but I can still hear it a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna break. And so it's doing it, it actually stops when I start braking a little bit. So I think I know what's going on, but I'm not sure 100%. We're gonna have to take things apart and see what's going on. Okay, so we start off by getting this rear tire chalked. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and start breaking these lugs loose a little bit. I've got a 21 millimeter here, extended ratchet. All those are loose. Okay, so we just got our jack right here and we lifted it and we just placed the jack stand right back here All right now we can go ahead and finish removing the tire Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and spin it here. You can already hear it. And if you look, you'll notice something over here on the left. Now, believe it or not, this is something that can happen very easily when you've done any work. It's these dust shields are very easy to bend, so it doesn't always work out this way, but this is a very, very easy fix, and I've seen this several times. But it's very easy for that to get bent in the process of doing brakes and rotors. So, I'm going to go ahead and test drive it again, but... I'm almost certain that this is all we got going on. I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick look at the brake and make sure everything looks good, but looks like this is going to be an easy fix. So you can run your finger across this. These rotors feel really good. There's no grooves. The brake pads are brand new, so this all looks good. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and get the wheel back on and get it torqued down. The lug nuts, uh, 100 foot pounds, and we're going to go ahead and test it out again. Okay, so we're driving it down the road here. I don't know if you can hear the lack of. I don't know if you could hear it the first time. It's kind of hard to pick up these noises I've found, but um, we don't have any noise, which that's a good thing. And I'll also say that my initial diagnosis was wrong because I thought that it was a wheel bearing 
because they can make some horrible sounds but it wasn't that it was something really simple so it just goes to show you got to take them off inspect check everything sometimes it's something simple so it looks like a fix and they're breaking good they're not making any noise all right so that's going to do it on this video this 2008 nissan xterra uh turned out to be a simple fix anyways i hope you found the video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up if you'd like to leave a comment please do so as always i invite you to subscribe and thanks for watching